Hi there guys, it's Cam here at Newmarket Harley-Davidson, part of the Lynn Group, and today you're joining us on the Unravel and just general chit chat about the brand new 2023 CVO Street Glide. So where to start? I mean, the bike's been on the market now for a couple of months. Most of you watching this video would already have a pretty good understanding about the spec and what it's about. And most dealerships like ourselves should have one, or possibly two in there. Now what we've got here, this is the 23 Street Glide in the dark platinum with pinstripe. Now when you take a closer look around this bike, you'll see how in a weird enough way they've managed to get it just right without going too over the top. And again, keeping with the current trends in today's market. Now we've seen over the years with CVOs how they've done some real loud colors. We've seen the flames. Um, this year they've reined it back a little bit. And I think a lot of the new material is predominantly not necessarily in the paint, but with the design. So we're gonna go through some bits and pieces. New for this year, you've got the saddlebags. So despite the change in look and shape of the bags, you've actually got more volume. So the ability to take more gear away with you is pretty important to anyone touring on these bikes. We've still got the Harley Davidson Audio powered by Rockford Fosgate. Anyone that has ridden or heard the music sound system on these bikes, it's phenomenal. Um, I genuinely think it will give most people's cars a run for their money. And then heading round to the front, up front you've got the brand new display. Now I'm a big fan of modern and hardy keeping at the time, so the fact that you've now got this huge display with everything you've got in front of you without having the previous clocks above, it makes it more streamlined, it makes it more user friendly, it looks fantastic. Talking about the tank, so the tank has got the same amount of fuel capacity as the previous generation on the 117 CVO, but what they've done is the design, you've gone longer, sleeker, um, so it's got a different dynamic to it. Again, with them looking at the aerodynamics, you'll see a few other features on the front of the bike, how we've lost the indicators. Um, on the road guys specific, specifically, they've now changed and they've done aerodynamic testings on the bike, so all with the user in mind. Comfort is the main thing. Look at it, look at the shape of it. Look at the lines that's running off. You've got this Omega style headlight on the street glide and you've got the W that runs on the road glide. If I just crack on the indicators, you can have a C. I mean, if this isn't making you want to trade in from your old CVO, then I don't really know what they have to do. Something to mention on the fuel tank actually is the fact that you've now got the pop-up fuel cap rather than having the locking. Again, when we pan around the bike, you'll be able to see just again by the sleekness and how it fits flush with the tank. The keys, they've still got the same CVO keys as you had beforehand. So you've got central locking with the panniers and for the bike. And the new design is gorgeous. Again, just another nice little touch with the CVO branding. So over the last couple of years, they've done the Kahuna collection, which again is a fan favorite. I'm a fan of it and specking it up on bikes myself. This year, they're running with the adversary parts and accessories. So you've got the boards, the rear brake pedal, you've got the grips. With the heated grips, there is a slight difference. So rather than having the dial that you turn on the left-hand side, it's all sleek, there's no buttons or anything on show. But in the end of the grip, you press in and it operates very similar to the Pan America, the Sports Dress and the Nightster, that it works on like a three, two, one basis rather than the dials up to six. Controls wise, now when you look at it from a start, it looks like a really complicated <laughs> Xbox controller. Um, but once you've had a play around with it and you've actually had the chance to have a ride of these bikes, with all of the user interface, you've got different bits and pieces, you've got easily rider modes that you can bounce between. So you've got road mode, sport mode, and rain mode. Previous to that, on the CVOs, we've seen traction control, we've got the RDRS, but having multiple different rider modes to choose from, amazing. But yeah, the bike's still got cruise control, same as the previous one, you've still got traction control as well. A couple other features that we wouldn't have seen on the previous one. Airflow, so we've actually got an open and closed vent, so it's an adjustable vent that you can change to either close off airflow completely or create a slipstream to your face whilst you're riding. The new CVO seat, we've got an Alcantara stitch leather and you've got the stitching to match the paintwork as well, which is a real nice touch. With the CVO, you've now got the ability as a user to adjust the preload on the rear suspension. Now again, for different heights of riders and weights and whether you're carrying pillion or fully loaded, the ability to twist the dial from the left hand side to tailor that to yourself, again, is a really nice feature for anyone looking at doing bigger trips or just making something a bit more personal to you. My favorite feature on the bike, 
everyone that I imagine that works within the Harley world will have their own specific thing that they'll talk about. Now on the CVO street guard specifically, anybody that's had a, C, uh, had a CVO street guard or a street guard previous to this, you know you've got your clock and to the right hand side of it you've got a tiny little pocket to charge your phone. Now unless you're running with an iPhone 2 or a Nokia brick, no modern phone has fitted into there so it's always been a bugbear not just from customers, but also from our perspective in terms of not being able to put your phone in. When you come around and have a look at this, check this out. So you've now got a pop-out tray with the ability to still run and charge your phone off of it, or if you've got a skinny enough camera, then you would be able to charge a battery pack or a camera in there. Keys, wallet, sunglasses, the amount of space you can now keep on, on you, even things like travel documents, passport, driving license, tucked away in a drawer. You don't have to keep it in a rucksack or bury down somewhere in your saddlebag. So massive win for me on that small feature. Um, what we're gonna do next is we wanna talk to you about the engine and a few up, uh, upgrades internally of the bike. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out one of our technicians and we're gonna introduce him and let him take over from me. Right, we've, bagged, we've managed to bring John out of the workshop. Uh, uh, John, you've obviously been working for Harley Davidson for how long now? Uh, 18 and a half years. 18 and a half years yeah, and all with yeah. Newmarket as well, right? Yeah, all with Newmarket, yeah. Awesome. Well, the first thing that I wanted to ask you about the bike is in 18 years of working on CVO specifically, mm -hmm. what's so special about this one? Well, there's, there's loads of changes for uh, 2024, uh, for this year, and uh, we've obviously got the 121 engine. Yeah. Um, but the biggest change, I guess, that everybody would notice is it's got now got VVT variable valve timing. Yeah. Which um, will give it does give an extra um, boost in uh, torque. Yep. And, um, and and power and you you've got uh, basically more miles to the gallon as well, which is always a good thing. Um, and um, so that's sort of quite special and unique. Um, the other thing that they've done is, is they've made changes to the cooling system. Yeah, you so, spoke about this earlier on, didn't you, on the bike? Yeah, so instead of having to have the leg shield now where you've got the radiator set in as previous model years. That's right. They've now got the radiator at the bottom with the pump that's connected to it and it is pumped directly, this time it's directly underneath the motorcycle, round yep. the back and into the rear head first because the rear head is the one that gets the hottest quickest and then so that will have the maximum effect on the cooling and then you're through to the front head um, and then that goes back down to the radiator again where it's the cycle starts. So from a workshop perspective is this going to be easier for to be working on? This is really a lot easier to work on because yeah. if, if there is any sort of top end work to do there's no uh, coolant lines or in the case of um, you know, the soft towels, no oil lines. I see. Um, so it, it does make access to the top end a lot, lot easier. Because it's easy to get lost in purely just the design and the, the look of the bike, but sure. seeing in terms of how the engine's now going to be not just more powerful compared to the previous generation, but also having it running better, you're going to get better fuel economy out of it, yeah, the cooling system's more better on it. Over, yeah, that's right. And um, the transmission as well has been sort of changed quite significantly. It's, it's now, they've, they've redesigned the selector drum. Yeah. Um, two benefits with that. One is it, it makes it easier now to select neutral. But the other thing is they now have um, on the end of the selector drum here, basically, is a, a sensor which will tell the, the, the TFT screen what gear it's in all the time. Right. So on the previous model years, that was all dependent on speed, on clutch. Gear, right, so and, your gear selector would almost drop out sometimes yes. on the... So when you pulled the clutch in, the gear would disappear. Yep. Um, with this one, it's it's live the whole time. Awesome. Uh, even to the point that it, it'll tell you it's in neutral, whereas one before it was just blank. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I, I've not ridden the new CVO, annoyingly, yet. <laughs> but John has, you've actually ridden the one that we've got sold just over in the background, the road glide. The Talk road to us, glide. How, how, how did it ride, the weight, the... It's, um, it, it sounds difficult to believe, but I think you can definitely feel the difference in the engine performance. Yeah. Um, and one of the greatest things I noticed of note was uh, the suspension, which Harley have gone, you know, into great detail to, to improve on. Yeah. Um, which I think, if we're being honest, there's definitely 
with the previous generation from 2023 and older, there has been talk about some of the suspension, so yeah, you've seen an improvement right. on that. Big time, and it does make a real time difference. Um, the main sort of preload is done instead of um, previous model years on the left hand side, it's now yeah. done on the right hand side. Right. Um, and then the finer adjustments are done on the left hand side. But it does make a huge sweeping difference. Yeah, you really notice it. Adds more into the comfort then of the ride. Very much so, yeah. yeah. And the weight of it? Cause... Yeah, well, overall, they've, they've, um, they've managed to shave off quite a bit of weight. Um, I think yeah, because yeah. 14 kgs for the street glide is what they've lost with this, and just under 16 kilograms on the road glide. Obviously, they work in pounds, so it's there or thereabouts. But yeah. what seems yeah. like not a huge amount of weight, even from getting it off of the side stand, yeah. you can tell that it is lighter. It which it's a significant difference, yeah. isn't it? It is. Um, I mean, they've all, always felt like when you're on the road and you're moving, but you know, oh, it's maneuvering seamless, yeah. in traffic or just pushing it around, you really notice the difference. For sure. Yeah. I think it helps the people of all sizes and statures as well and builds because I think, I think for anyone pushing around a bike of this big, if you're going to feel more confident on something like this, you're yeah. more likely to get it back out of the garage and do that other ride. Yeah, no, indeed you are, yeah. We've spoken about yes. the screen, we've spoken about the technology. One thing yeah. I didn't really touch on much was more about the maps. Now, I haven't had the opportunity to test ride that, so in a, in a future video, we probably would be able to do yeah. like, a, like a ride with showing the infotainment, because yeah. when we get the screen up now, and you can see it, to have a full play around and see its full capability, we can only do so much in a showroom. Sure, no, without doubt. I mean, there are so many differences. Um, you know, to the, the shape of the tank and the, the, of course the fairing is the first thing that most people notice, whether it's the road glide or the street glide. Um, and I do think they've made great improvements there. Yeah. Um, from a workshop point of view, they're easier to work on now. They are. They were, I mean, they weren't bad before, but, but now they're really Just make easy. it a bit easier yeah. again. Yeah, um, which is always good from my point of view. Yeah. Um, and on the but, note of workshop, was the, because the chassis and the spec of the bike is you can still fit parts to this which will fit the previous CVO. So I know a lot of people who have been buying parts for their yes. Taurus from what, 2014 onwards, yeah. that this is still going to work for docking kits, sissy bar yes. screens. I mean, there's, still a, there's still a huge amount of parts they've accessories. Changed, they've changed a lot, but not the parts that count as regards to those accessories that people want. Yeah, for sure, know, yeah. To, you can still customise these CVOs. Harleys, really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Stage ones will bar. still be options, pipes, yeah. tuning, um, and hopefully we see some more of that the more of these bikes we sell. Yeah, yeah. You know, and see how people yes. put their own spin on it. And I'm sure sort of long term, a lot of this will cross into other models yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm probably sure on that's... what's on a lot of people's lips at the moment yeah. is how soon are they going to leave here? Because that's what they've always done with the CVOs is it is timeless, it is the new era. Yeah. You know, you almost want that piece of history, the fact that this is the new generation. Yeah. So they probably are going to run with it for a when, couple of years. We don't that know. that sort of engine size, which in the past has been the thing with the CVOs and yeah. jobs, but also, of course, with the technology now that's yeah. coming in fast and you know, thick and fast. And, and I think, um, you know, this has certainly got a lot of that. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? it? Is, for being yeah. in the brand, I mean, I've got nowhere near the amount of years that you've got with Harley, but just in, you know, over three years, seeing from the Milwaukee aid, then we saw the Rev Max, we saw how amazing the new technology with the Pan American adaptive ride height, we've got yep. the ride modes, we've got yep. the new engine. Now the fact that we've got this hybrid of a Milwaukee 8 with aspects of the Rev Max, right, with the rider modes, the different screen. Yeah, no indeed. It's That's really right. cool. It's, it's all there now and um, yeah. I think, um, you know, time will tell, but I, I think it's, it's, it's only going to be positive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, we're going to wrap things up there, guys. Um, if there's any questions you have about the bike, then please, like I said, you don't have to just respond to the videos. Come down to our showroom. We've got the Black Bear Coffee Lounge. Um, either myself, Dan, any, any member of the team, whether it's parts, accessories, or even guys in the workshop, provided they're not elbow deep in a bike, <laughs> come down and ask us. We've got one here on display. We are probably going to be getting another couple in the new year. So if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, but also come down, check out our dealership, see what we're about and see the bike for yourself.